Okay, entering the room here. We'll start with the back of the door. This is where I keep all my shoes. This over the door shoe rack here. Mostly my high heels and stuff, like sneakers and other sandals and stuff I keep in a bag, like an under the bed bag. But this is where I keep all the high heels. I kind of don't like the shoe rack because you can see the bottom of the shoes and they're all dirty and ugly. I got a little marker board here that I usually never write on. I just uh, kind of stick stuff there with magnets, but there's markers if I ever feel like writing on it. And over to my little desk area, a fan uh, drew this for me at a concert. This is a picture when me and my mom did a, our photo shoot together. My boyfriend's mom got me the Coke bottle. Yes, Brittany is my government name. That's my aunt. She looks really pretty. I love that picture of her. I love cute little like office supplies. So I've got my little like post-it dispenser and cute scissors and highlighters and pens. And like I have more uh, markers and highlighters and stuff. I love office supplies and markers. So there's lots of like artsy crafty stuff in there and paper and random shit like that. Yes, I am a cigarette smoker. I frequently clean my ashtrays and I have lots of candles and stuff because of the cigarettes smell, but that is my vice. I am a cigarette smoker. It's my favorite picture of my boyfriend and I. It is rather old at this point, but that is my desktop background. My awesome Sony Vio. It's one of the favorite PCs I've ever had. I like Macs, but it's probably my favorite PC. Um, pictures of me and my mommy. Um, this is the first album I ever did. I did like mixtapes and stuff before it, but this is my first album. And of course I, you know, I wanted to frame the CD and stuff because it's pretty special to me. And that is the poster from the tour that I did for that album, which is really old now, but I'm working on new music. Uh, my bills to remind myself to pay my bills and more cutesy little office products. This is a tape dispenser. It's one of the cutest things. I'm sure you guys have probably seen those before. Um, my Chihuahua calendar. This is one of the cutest ones. I love November Chihuahua. She's really cute. A little uh, pin board with different photos. I love pictures. So I have a lot of pictures everywhere. And this is um, like more my boyfriend's side of the room because you got the PlayStation stuff, but of course I've still decorated it with cutesy shit. I got these candles um, from Michaels. I don't light them. There's decorative and little diamonds or whatever around them. I've got the diamonds inside the flower pot as well. These little flowers are from the dollar store. It's kind of obvious that they're from the dollar store. Another one of my favorite pictures of me and Julius. This is my mom's lucky stripper shoe. <laughs> when she used to be a dancer, I guess these were like her money-making shoes. And so I keep them for good luck because she gave them to me. And there's his PlayStation and such. And we have our uh, his and hers televisions here. And they're mounted so that the cords are hidden that's probably the greatest investment I've ever done I love how it looks with uh, the cords hidden and these are full motion swivel mounts so when I'm sitting at my desk or at the vanity or whatever I can tilt the TV out a little bit so that it's you know more visible so that's fun and I got shelves up here with little decorations and my wig shelf up here. Let's see the lighting. And I got like hats and crowns and bunny ears that I store on top of the wig heads as well. Those are all really cheap uh, synthetic hair wigs. Um, just kind of like for fun. I'll normally 
wear a hat over them because they're not very realistic looking. My boyfriend's little table that he keeps his laptop and random stuff on. And his little headset for his games. And another little shelf with pictures on it. We recently moved to this couch, so that photo didn't look as odd in that position the way that we had it before. But I'll probably move that poster and uh, put a bigger um, piece of art or something over the couch. I love this couch. It's really comfy and it's got like an electric recliner in it. It's really nice. Um, this poster is uh, my boyfriend and my homie Mars. This was the first national tour that I did. Um, so that poster is important to me, but it needs to go somewhere else where it doesn't look so tiny over the couch, but that's okay. Um, and let's skip the vanity because that's the most important thing, so we'll do that last. Um, this is my little recording studio. Um, my microphone, chaotic eyeball on top of it. It kind of, you know, keeps the outer sound out because I'm not in a very um, soundproofed room here. And I've kind of had to merge my office studio and makeup room all into one, which it works, but it definitely, you know, need that extra soundproofing. And just my MacBook and some good monitors and it's a basic uh, home studio, but it will work well for me. I've got some storage over here and uh, there's another poster I need to hang up somewhere. So this little closet area is kind of not, you know, fully organized yet, but I'll get there. And now on to the star of the show, the vanity. Um, those shelves up there had more stuff on them before I rearranged everything and they will probably have more useful things on them later, but that's me and my best friend Sarah. It looked really pretty that night. And that's just a random box that has nothing in it. Um, hello, there's me looking like shit. Yes, I am filming this on my phone. Uh, I've got my little lights. Uh, they're battery operated Christmas lights. They're really cute that I like to have around there. And then um, these my friend Sasha made for me and my mom just for because um, my mom has cancer. She's in remission right now, so awesome. Um, just random little necklaces that my mom got me that are sentimental to me that I don't really wear them. I just kind of leave them up there to look at and just in case, you know, you need a lighter. Okay, so these lights are from Amazon. Um, Top Shelf Goods is the company. I don't like that logo on there, but they're really, really awesome lights. I've got one on each side, and they're just so cool. They're like fully motion. You can bend them and twist them like any which way, and even tilt them from the bottom here and kind of, you know, put it exactly where you want it to get perfect lighting to do your makeup. So it's awesome to have one on each side. Uh, I just got them kind of pointing straight up right now for this. This is a cordless uh, mirror from Zadro. And I just got it and I love that it's cordless and I really wanted something cordless, but it's not very bright. I don't know how much you can tell, but I've got those lights on the side, so that's not that important to me, but I got it because, you know, I'm going to want to travel with it and stuff, and I'm really not impressed with the light on it. There's uh, these really nice cordless ones called from a company called Simple Human. Um, they're like $200 for one, and they have a great bright lighting, but I cannot bring myself to spend $200 on one just yet, but I may end up getting one if it if I feel like it's worth it at some point. But right now, you know... I've got my lights on the side. It's really not necessary. Um, this is a really cool piece of artwork that I bought on the street in Atlanta from an artist called uh, Paul Athol Lewis. Um, it's just a uh, Marilyn Monroe with cornrows. Um, I'm not really like a big Marilyn Monroe fan or anything, but I just thought it was, you know, kind of unique looking. Um, and I just kind of taped it up there instead of framing it or anything. I just thought it was kind of cool for the vanity. A uh, little cotton holder. I just got it from Walmart. 
I usually use probably like this entire thing of q-tips in a session of putting on and taking off makeup so it has to be refilled frequently and I'm probably gonna get something better um, these are all my face brushes um, this is I love real techniques brushes uh, some tart brushes are really nice more real techniques um, this is actually from Walgreens from a company called Satina and they're like some of my favorite brushes I have uh, some eye brushes from them too and I was really surprised at the quality I really do like them um, the special real techniques brushes some Sephora brushes Sonia Kashuk um, yeah those are all my face brushes I actually don't have any other ones these are all my eye brushes I've had you know some more that I've thrown out these are um, Tokidoki, and I got them about five years ago, and I got them just because they were cute, but also ended up being some of my favorite brushes, and I just take really good care of them and keep them clean, and they have lasted me a long time. It's another one of the Tokidoki. They're very cute. And there's one more here. This one's just an angled liner brush, so there's nothing really special about this one, but those other two actually did end up being um, very nice brushes. So I got a lot of real techniques in there. Um, I believe this is a Sonia Kashuk. Um, lots of elf brushes. Did, these little dollar elf brushes are pretty useful for like just simple padding on the lid and stuff. Um, the naked brushes that come in the palettes, I keep out of the palettes. Um, Sonia Kashuk set. See, there's that Satina brand again, and I can't find them again, but it really surprised me. Uh, some Sephora brushes in there and stuff too. This is a little Hello Kitty drawer set from Walmart, and uh, I keep different lip products in here. These are all baby lips and um, NY NYX lip butters. These are... Wet n Wild, I love these lipsticks. They're a dollar a piece and they have awesome pigmentation. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know about them, but those lipsticks are fucking awesome. In the bottom I keep uh, little EOS things. These are Color Whisper, they kind of suck. I'm not a big fan of those lipsticks. Um, and then you got e.l.f. lip glosses in there and an e.l.f. lip primer. Um, this thing is uh, like a, a monitor riser that I guess you would put like a television or a computer on but I got it to like kind of save space on the top of the vanity and so I can put things underneath as well as on top and it looks pretty nice it blends really well with the vanity um, I got it on Amazon for I think like 20 bucks um, here is a little acrylic drawer set I put pink on top of it because it was like starting to get kind of shitty looking on the top but I didn't do a very good job it's very bubbly um, these also have all lip colors in them little these are really old these are from a Kat Von D book of lipstick sampler a long time ago and then a bunch of drugstore lipsticks I think I got this in an ipsy thing last month oh, wait no this is makeup forever this is from my Sephora birthday thing uh, smoochies I basically just bought these because they're called smoochies and me and my boyfriend call our kisses smoochies <laughs> um, lip liners which I suck at applying I'm not a lip liner kind of person but sometimes I use them I got Urban Decay Mac um, this is just a Maybelline one and uh, what is this one? Oh, Victoria's Secret I'm so fucking upset that Victoria's Secret stopped making makeup. They still have like a couple lip glosses and stuff like that, but they stopped making their makeup line and I really enjoyed it, so that's upsetting. Here's another Victoria's Secret uh, lip gloss. Some MAC lip glosses. Uh, this is from my Ipsy bag. This is a Tarte lip gloss that I got last month. This is also from an Ipsy bag. This is uh, from a brand called Hikari. It's a very nice lip gloss. I enjoyed it. I'm going to open my Ipsy bag for you in another video that I just got, my November one. Um, this is uh, Betsy Johnson. I got like jewelry in it or something, but I keep all my lip brushes in there to keep them like separated from the other brushes. 
And this is my little lipstick holder where I keep most of my like nicer lipsticks, but there are a couple drugstore ones in here that wouldn't fit in the um the other little Hello Kitty thing. Um MAC lipsticks up front, Too Faced lipsticks. I have one Urban Decay lipstick. These are uh from a MAC uh lip gloss gift set that my boyfriend got me for Christmas one year. These are Victoria's Secret lipsticks, another um, thing that I'm very sad that they stopped carrying. These are Kate. They're from Rimmel. I'm not a big fan of them. They're all right. Um, cute little packaging, though. And more Wet n Wild, of course. And that is the little lipstick set. If I can put this back properly. And here's where I keep my um, sponges. I'm actually not a big fan of the original beauty blenders. They're not bad, but they're like a little rough compared to the Real Techniques ones, which are actually my favorite. Um, these are the Real Techniques sponges. These are really soft to me, and they're like, they're just as bouncy and like, they work just as well to me as a beauty blender, but they're just softer, and I like how they have the, um, the flat edge I like to use for like bigger areas of the face like my forehead and stuff if I'm using a sponge for like a full application these are actually um, made by Disney and these ones kind of suck these came in a set with the green the blue and the pink one the the blue and the green ones are they're kind of just like hard and not very bouncy but this one is pretty good for getting like really deep into the corners of the under eye so I do kind of use that one sometimes the green and the blue I may use for just random things or to like wipe off makeup and without like smudging it too much but yeah I got these little um boxes from Bed Bath & Beyond I think they're like supposed to be like cotton ball holders but they work pretty nice to hold the sponges in okay into the drawers oh and of course I had to have a candle lit because it wouldn't be a beauty video without a lit candle but this candle is um from candles by victoria and they are awesome they smell so strong and it's like such a necessity for me being that i smoke cigarettes in my home to always have a candle lit so okay this whole side of the vanity this is ikea this is like the standard beauty guru setup it is uh ikea Alex drawers with the tabletop. Most beauty gurus have the white one. I have the black one, um, but it's the same exact setup that you see in a lot of YouTube videos. I keep my hair, jewelry, and like kind of random things on this side, and then this side has makeup in it. Um, this is jewelry, so I've got, you know, rings, and this is from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond as well, just like a little drawer separator, and I keep different jewelry in there these are jewelry boxes these are custom made by my friend Sasha as well uh, you know the paw leaf haha -ha. um, I got belly button rings in that one and plugs in this one and then this is a Betsy Johnson box that I keep random stuff in this is like the hair stuff that I use most often this is my hair straightener in here this is a heat resistant bag from Walmart uh, brushes back here a little lint roller um, headbands, clips, hair ties, uh, more clips and combs and different things in there. These are all products, um, hairspray and dry shampoo and just, uh, different balms and weave glue, which you shouldn't do. You should not glue your extensions in. Oh, I got my microphone cord stuck here. Okay. Then here's like some more jewelry, lint rollers, uh, hair bows. This is kind of a random drawer. This drawer has all hair in it as well as um, this is curling irons. And I specifically put this product in here just because it's just for curls. So it's not something I use frequently. Um, I've got some headbands back here. But all these bags have either like wigs or clip-in extensions or just regular hair tracks. So this is literally like a drawer of hair. <laughs> And on to the makeup side. The top has like lotions and razors and uh, makeup remover, different lotions and toners, and um, 
removers, allergy medicine, because my eyes water like crazy and I have stupid amounts of allergies. These are all different samples and stuff, Q-tips. Okay, the good stuff. So these are all liners, liquid liners, pencil liners, all different liners. Um, this is mostly eyebrow stuff, eyebrow powders, pomades. I, I do use a lot of Anastasia, but um, I got this little kit from Sally's and I like this one too. Um, who makes this? I, I think Ardell makes this. It's just a little brow kit. I don't use any of these little tools. But the powder is pretty good. It's pretty pigmented, but not like too pigmented for an eyebrow. Um, not a big fan of pencils, but I do have a couple pencils in here. I have a Benefit and Anastasia pencil. I have a drawer with lashes, but these are like, you know, a pair of lashes that I'll probably use, you know, for the time being. So I keep them up here. Uh, mascaras. Benefit their real is uh, probably my favorite for the top and I like to use this um, is it Maybelline Yeah, it's Maybelline falsies, but I only use the lower lash one I really like the smaller wand for lower lashes. It helps me a lot from not smudging it uh, a couple little smaller sample size ones a perversion from Urban Decay. I sometimes put on top of the their reel just to darken them up a little bit. And the uh, Roller Lash from Benefit. I really like that too. Really lifting. And Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler. I hated eyelash curlers and thought they never worked until I used the Tweezer Man one. Like, this thing is awesome. And we have eyelash glue, sharpeners, uh, primer. I have a primer in there too. Um, single eyeshadows, Urban Decay, MAC, uh, replacements for the lash curler, more single eyeshadows and a MAC pigment. Palettes. Oh man. Okay. So I've got cheap Coastal Scents palettes back here. I've got like four or five of them. These are the foundations that I tend to use every day. I have another drawer with more foundations, but, um, this is, a uh, True Match Lumi. This is really light for me. I tend to use this to mix with foundations to lighten them up a little bit if I'm not as tan. Um, Smashbox is uh, probably my favorite right now. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin. This is um, kind of expensive, but it's really thick, really full coverage, and it's probably my favorite thing to use right now and I've got a darker and a lighter color there that I can play with and mix and that's my favorite right now um, these are contouring palettes Anastasia the Too Faced chocolate uh, cocoa contour this is like a little mixing plate that I mix my foundations on and it comes with like a little thing I got this on Amazon it's a, a lot better than using your hand over and over too Faced uh, Primed and Poreless. It's a loose powder. That's probably my favorite powder to finish with. Chocolate bronzer. All my eyeshadow, high-end eyeshadow palettes here. Um, this is a new one I got from MAC. I'm really not big on MAC products overall, but uh, I did just get this eyeshadow palette. And I like to, um, I like to keep products in the box if I can. And you know, it keeps the actual palette looking nice and not, you know, getting dented up and stuff. Um, another Victoria's Secret thing that I'm really sad again that they stopped making makeup. A Kat Von D palette. This is a really old Urban Decay palette that I probably should throw in the trash, but it's so pretty and fun. Uh, all these drawer separators here from Walmart. A Too Faced palette. I can get this organized again. The Naked Basics. And this is the Balm Nude Tood with the little naked girls on it. It's very cute. Uh, naked Smoky. Electric Palette. This is a little one I got from Ipsy. It's pretty not very useful to me. Um... Semi-sweet chocolate bar, regular chocolate bar, Naked 3, 
regular naked. I do not have naked two. Here I have uh, concealers and primers, uh, Makeup Forever lifting concealer. That's probably my favorite concealer. This uh, Oola Lift from Benefit. This is one of my favorite things to use under the eyes as well. And I use multiple primers at once, like at the same time on my face. So um, brightening and tightening in areas where I have wrinkles. The Smashbox in green in places where I have redness and pore professional in places like my nose and chin where I have really big pores. So that's that. Oh, this stuff I have not used yet, but it's supposed to be pretty crazy. It's basically like cement for your face that tightens up and gets rid of wrinkles, but it's supposed to be fairly difficult to use, so we'll see. And the lashes I told you guys about. I am crazy about House of Lashes, and that's basically the main lashes that I use. I ordered these Black China lashes, and they are very pretty. The, the box is very pretty and nice, but it's not that the lashes are bad. They're just, um, they just don't stay on me right, and they look weird I don't know how to explain it but the boxes are gorgeous and I'm sure that they look nice on some people but not my thing I've got some kiss lashes under there but and this adhesive I really you know I don't mess with that I uh that's Ardell adhesive I think I'm really into house of lashes so like the smaller ones um siren that's the main one I use yeah siren and then these bigger ones are really nice too for more dramatic looks. Um, this one's called Boudoir. And the Fairy Noir is my favorite of the big lashes. Or Noir Fairy. That is my house of lashes. And I got these cute little cases from them. And they are adorable, but I really don't use them. I tend to put the lashes just back in the box that they came in. But for like other brands of lashes and stuff, maybe... I would end up putting them in there, but I just haven't been using other brands. I'm going back up here because I did not rant and rave about the House of Lashes glue. Even if I did use other lashes, I would just mainly use this glue. This is the dark glue. This is the light glue. Um, it's just awesome. Like, I've never used a glue. I have the most watery eyes, and that stuff just holds like nobody's business, but it also doesn't hold to the point where it's like stuck on your eye when you want to get it taken off. It's awesome. That's like one of my favorite products. Um, these are foundations and powders that I don't use as much. A um, couple of bronzers in here and stuff, and um, powders. And sometimes I use those, you know, depending on if my skin tone's changing or something, but they're not my favorites. Or some of them I use on other people if I'm doing somebody else's makeup, like this one. Unfortunately, my skin will never be this dark, but um, if I'm doing somebody's skin with darker or lighter makeup, I'll use some of these foundations. Here's some glitters, glitter liners, and loose glitters. Um, I use a little bit of glitter, but I used to like it a lot more than I do now. So that's that drawer and then this bottom drawer is basically nothing special so I think we're pretty much done just keep cotton balls and q-tips extra ones in here and this little Mac uh, box gift set thing that the lip glosses came in I put my empty Mac products in here to save them for when I'm ready for a recycle and I just did a recycle so there's nothing in there but it's such a cute little box um, yeah that's basically it um, there you go, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything here. My little studio slash office slash makeup room slash boyfriend's video game area. So, um, yeah, stay tuned, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy my channel and everything. Bye-bye.